In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the TI-84 graphing calculator to construct a scatter plot. So I've already had my data in here, so if you want to view the data, just hit uh, your stats button, and then you're going to choose enter to edit. And if you want to type in the data and follow along with this example, just pause the video right now, and then you can uh, follow through with the rest of it. So I'm going to exit out of here, and we're going to get to our stats plot by going up here to the Y equals. Just above that is the stat plot option, so we have to go second Y equals to get to stat plot. When that comes up, we're going to choose option one to get to stat plot number one. And then most of you may have your stat plots on off right here. You'll have to hit the left arrow over here, select that, and then hit enter to turn the stat plots on. You should have a blacked out box around that. The next thing we want to do is we want to go down and we want to select the type of graphic that we have that we want to use. And the very first option is the scatter plot. So you're going to highlight that and again you'll hit enter to select it and it should have a blacked out box around it and you'll notice that the X and Y list suddenly appear right below. So I have my X variables typed into list 1 and then I have my Y variables typed into list 2. If you have them in different lists you'll have to change those lists to the appropriate variable type. Um, and then if you wanted to you could change the mark. I'm just going to leave it standard like that. Now if you have an older calculator like a TI-83, sometimes you get some weird things that happen when you go right into the zoom menu. So you may want to exit out of here by going second and then quit. If you have a newer calculator, you can just go ahead and hit zoom right away and that's not a problem. And I'm going to go in here and I'm going to choose the zoom stat option because it sets up the appropriate window where I can take a look at my, my scatter plot. So you can either hit the number 9 or you can use the down arrow to get to option 9 for zoom stat. Once you do that, it'll automatically graph your, um, your X and your Y data on the Cartesian coordinate system, and you can take a look at it and determine whether or not um, it's something you're going to do linear regression with.